Welcome to News 4 San Antonio at 6 Friends. On this Monday, I'm Jonathan Martinez. A San Antonio police officer who was hurt in an early morning shooting on Sunday remains in the hospital and is expected to recover. But the outrage has erupted about the alleged shooter who was in the country illegally after being released by Border Patrol. The News 4 I team's Jay Avila investigates how often this happens and why border agents say their hands are tied. Hey, Jay. Well, Jonathan, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus confirmed to me today the alleged shooter was in the U.S. illegally after immigrating from Venezuela. The chief says he is frustrated by circumstances that allowed this to happen. Law enforcement records obtained by the I-Team show 25-year-old Jorge Chacon Gutierrez was apprehended in Eagle Pass by Customs and Border Protection in November of last year, but was released with a notice to appear in court in 2026. Early Sunday morning, he allegedly opened fire on officers with a rifle at an apartment on Patricia Drive. When they responded to a report, he had assaulted someone. One officer was shot multiple times, and SWAT later found Chacon Gutierrez deceased, but it's unclear if he took his own life or was killed by police. A spokesman for the Border Patrol Union said last November, Eagle Pass was overwhelmed with immigrants trying to cross the border, and agents were told to release people seeking asylum after a background check. Congressman Chip Roy is one of those voicing outrage over the shooting. But Border Patrol's hands are tied. And they, they get somebody comes across the board and they come up and they say, OK, we're going to release them into the United States on our parole. But we'll do a background check and they may or may not get good information on it. Earlier this year, former Homeland Security agent Adi Jimenez told us it is especially difficult to get information on people coming from Venezuela. But we don't have a relationship with Venezuela, so there's no means to corroborate any criminal history with anybody coming from Venezuela. In a scathing report last month, the Office of the Inspector General criticized Immigration and Custom Enforcement's screening process. It found last year ICE failed to conduct risk assessment on almost 80,000 detained non-citizens, which was 33% of illegal detainees. And it determined more than 11,000 non-citizens were released after a risk assessment recommended detention. Now, that doesn't mean that every individual who comes here is bad, but it does mean that there are thousands of known criminals, thousands of people associated with terrorist organizations who have been released, are being released, and will be released onto our streets. And guess what? It's SAPD, it's DPS, it's Texans left holding the bag. We wanted to ask Homeland Security directly about Chacon Gutierrez, but they told us they are waiting for the medical examiner to confirm his identity before releasing any information. For the News 4i team, I'm Jay Avila.